The discussion during the Rules Committee meeting was more focused on a bill that didn't make the agenda than any that did. Speaker Therese Terlahi was pushing to have Senator Talina Nelson's pro-life bill that bans abortions once a fetal heartbeat is detected onto at least a list of potential bills to be taken up. And while Nelson was not at the meeting, one of her co-sponsors, Senator Frank Bloss, objected to the placement. What has always been done is that it is the primary sponsor of Objection. these bills. I, I disagree. Uh, I, Senate, wait, Speaker I just want to point out for the record, respect, Speaker Chirlani, you. one moment, please, one moment, please. Senator Bloss, I still give you the floor. Go ahead and finish your point of information. Thank or you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, it has been the actions of this body that, yes, while we are considering the, the items that are on the core listing already and items to be that, that want to need to be, want to be considered to be put on the agenda, that these motions are made by the primary sponsors of each bill. And I am not making a motion to place these things on the agenda. They are on a potentials list, and I'm making a motion that the potentials list be noticed in our agenda. In, otherwise, we tie our hands as a legislature from potentially acting on things that, that we want to act on. More than a thousand witnesses have submitted testimony on the heartbeat bill, with a majority opposed to it, which may explain the sponsor's reluctance to place the bill on the agenda. Rules Committee Chairperson Tina Barnes. I'm going to call a spade a spade. So, Madam Speaker, today uh, this we're tossing around this Bill 291 that's on the potential, the heartbeat bill. Is it your intent to add it as a potential it into was, that without the without it the? It is design? on. There, I'm going to read the potential list. But Barnes again cut to the chase. We do not need to go in circles. So, is there a second? Based on your, the, the, the numbers you just read, is there a second to the speaker's motion? There was none. And later, Senator Mary Torres said it was obvious the primary sponsors don't want to move the bill to the floor. My motion then is, is of, the, of the bills that were noted as potential bills to strike 291 as one of those noted bills. So as it stands, there are just three bills on the agenda for the May session, excluding the heartbeat bill. There are seven other potential measures, though, plus a possible vote on the adult use cannabis rules and regulations. For KUAM News, I'm Nestor Leconto.